Um, I started with ceramics uh, probably like 10 years ago. And then from that evolves into, um, into little figures that I used to paint mm -hmm. on a paper in black and white ink. Um, and then I, one day I decided, I said, I want to do, I want to try to see if I can make the same figures in, in little shapes. And I want to be a feminine figure. I always, uh, my father always brought us, <coughs> brought us up as, as women to be educated, to be educated, to be independent, to be self-sufficient. So that, that triggers all that, all that uh, chaos into figures, into little figures and into big figures. Um, then from there, I started working with porcelain, and I decided that it would be good to add to some of my ceramics, some of those feminine figures, to be more available. But uh, they became too complicated because they were delicate, and the ceramic pots weren't delicate. So I said, no, I don't think it's a good combination. So I got to figure it out, something to do more independent, more as a, as a figure. But it was always an attraction for me. It was, um, the art has been always in, in my family, it's been always with me. And uh, when my son was born, that's when I, <coughs> after my son was born, I started doing ceramics yes, as, a, as an escape <laughs> to be a mother for 24 hours. So that's how I started. I, did. I used to do it every two times a week. I used to escape from home and be away. And that's how I started to, to create and to appear. Um, I want them to see how empowered, empowering can be just being little and just the consistency and just to keep trying and just imagine anything, anything that you see in my little figures or in my big figures, anything is possible. Any, every, it's always for a search, it's you're always searching for something. So that's what I want the people to just to go in a little bit farther in the search of imagination.